In one instance in Ultimate Spider-Man comics, Spider-Man tries to get Kingpin in jail by breaking into his office and taking any evidence he can to get him committed to jail. But in an effort to do so, Kingpin ends up surprise attacking Spider-Man. Through the help of Electro, he ends up shocking Spider-Man until he blacks out. After Spider-Man would be knocked out cold, Kingpin would ask one of his thugs to remove Peter's mask. Once removing the Spidey mask, he would ask some of his thugs if they knew who he was, but they would all reply that they have no idea who the kid is. So he'd tell his thugs to throw Peter out of the the window and keep the Spidey mask for himself. And to send Spidey a message to never mess with him again, he would put the mask on one of his other thugs and squish his head in. The following morning, people would find the dead body with the Spidey mask and wonder if this was the real Spidey that died. And Peter watching the news while eating his cereal, he knew this was a message from Kingpin and it was the worst thing he could have done. So while in school, Peter would think of ways to take Kingpin down. And upon his teacher talking about President Nixon and how Nixon would always record his conversations with anybody, Peter also remembers that there was a camera in his office, and right at that moment, he knew exactly how to take down Kingpin. So under the cover of night, Peter would go out as Spider-Man and try to break into Fisk Tower. Upon reaching the tower, Spider-Man would sneak through the ventilation system until reaching the security office, where he'd end up tapping on the security officer's shoulder, telling him that he's looking for a little payback, as he shoves his face into the security desk. Upon the ruckus, another security officer enters the building and fires off a shot, which causes his somewhat sneaky mission to go awry, as he just begins to wail on everything until he finds the security tapes. After smashing pretty much everything in the security office, he does eventually find the security CDs, and he tries to make a break for it. Running out of the security office, he runs into Electro, and to get some more payback, he ends up taking Electro out easily. And as Spider-Man pretty much reaches the finish line, he hears Kingpin say that he doesn't know what he thinks going to happen, but he knows for sure that he's not going to leave here alive. As Spider-Man turns around to see, Kingpin pointing right right at Spider-Man asking him who he works for. To which Spider-Man says that he's right. He doesn't know how this is going to end or whether or not he gets out of here alive, but he knows for damn sure that he promised himself that if he ever ran into him again, he would tell him a couple jokes. So here goes. You are so fat that when you cut yourself shaving, marshmallow fluff comes out. No? Okay, how about this one? You are so fat that your high school yearbook photo was taken from a helicopter. Ooh, tough room. Okay, how about this? You're so fat that when you get on a scale, it says one at a time. Kingpin, absolutely furious, lets out a mighty roar. And as Kingpin charges towards Spider-Man, he keeps going with the jokes. And as Kingpin keeps throwing punches left and right, Spider-Man evades each one, taunting Kingpin further, calling him a murderer that he steals from people, and he sells drugs to kids. So webbing up Kingpin to a wall, he tells him that he's not going to beat him up, because any old schmuck can do that. As much as he hates Kingpin, and as much as he makes his skin crawl, he has something far better planned for him in the future. And as Kingpin struggles to get out of Spider-Man's web fluid, he sees that Spider-Man is long gone. Getting back home, Peter sifts through every single CD to find any evidence that's damning against Kingpin, and compiles it all into one singular CD to later give to writer Ben Urich. The following morning, Peter puts it on Ben Urich's desk, and when he enters the CD into his computer, he sees everything, and quickly takes everything he's seen to J. Jonah Jameson, as Peter sits in enjoyment knowing that he took down the most infamous crime lord in New York City. Meanwhile, somewhere out of state, Kingpin is handed a newspaper that reads that Kingpin was caught red-handed on tape, and the evidence is too damning, meaning he can never return to New York ever again, as Kingpin just has to swallow the fact that Spider-Man got his payback. Ending the story. I hope you guys like this video, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and as always, I'll catch y'all on the flip side.